to that happy state, I am in the Isle of Wight and I thought I would share with you how I am going to fit in some sewing this week um, across the week whilst I'm away. So because it's up a state in the morning, I've had a couple of hours this morning just to get a bit of sewing done. Nobody else in the house is up and they will be very shortly and I'm about to go and get showered and start getting ready for the day. But I've managed to complete a Zadie bodice uh, already, which I'm quite impressed with. So I've got the top sewn together and the back sewn together. So just to let you know, I'm in my pyjamas, but these are the Remy Raglan top. It's the very first one I ever made. It's a 12 version. It's in a double gauze. This was made in the size 16, which is a size bigger. So it's nice and comfortable. And I think I got this fabric from the sewing cafe and then I've got my fabulous and I love these pajama bottoms this fabric is gorgeous and if if they still got it in stock I'll link it down below but I got this from first for fabrics it's a brush cotton and it's really comfortable and these are just the Jamie pajama bottoms from Tilly and the Buttons your classic style pajama bottom so let me show you what I've got done so I'm quite an early riser, so I've bought a variety of things, but this is my first morning here. We're only here till Friday morning, um, so I'll only have a couple of mornings. I might have some time in the evenings, but I'm away with my mum and the girls, so I don't know. We'll just see. See, the evenings I feel kind of guilty sewing with my mum about, feel like I should be entertaining. So we'll just see. But here we are. I thought I'd start with the Zadie because it's a tried and true. I absolutely love it. And this is the play suit version in this fabric cotton mother, fabric cotton on. Um, so I've managed to get all of the bodies sewn up. I just need to top stitch around the area here, which is where that tie goes through, which I'll probably do just before I go and get showered and ready for the day and then hopefully I'll get a bit of time to sew later on this evening and if I do I um, should get the majority of this finished so hopefully I can just get to a point where all I've got to do is attach the binding on tomorrow morning but I'm not putting my pressure on myself but it's just really nice to have a bit of sewing time and the view of the river is literally in front of me from where I'm sewing so I'll keep you updated with how we go the rest of this week. Catch you later. show you my progress so I did manage to get a bit of uh, sewing done last night and a bit of leisurely sewing this morning and I am sort of pottering to and from but 
my Zadie is now all connected. So all I have left to do is my ties for the waist and then the binding all down and round. Um, and then of course hemming. But So I should get that finished by today. I don't know if I'll get another project started this week. I have brought stuff with me. Um, you know, tomorrow's the last day that we're here, full day. Um, and I think we're going to try and pack the car up for Thursday night because we're on the ferry at 10.30, which means that we need to be out of here by about half nine. Um, and it's, yeah, so I don't know, with the girls and stuff. But then I would have time to pack up. I'd have time to sew. I get up at 10.06, so I'd have time to sew. I don't know. Hmm. Haven't decided yet. I think I would like to enjoy sewing for one more day in front of that view. It's been quite nice. Um, so we had a lovely day yesterday. We went off to um, two different sanctuaries. Today we're going to some arts and crafts barns um, to have a look around. They're like shops. I'm hoping to find some jewellery. I do like a bit of handmade jewellery. And um, then we're going to ride and we're going to try and just have a bit of a wander and nose around some of the different shops, different areas, arcades, etc. with the girls. And I have had a quick look at fabric shops on the Isle of Wight just to see what's about. There's a couple of things that I've seen. I don't know how good they're going to be, but we're going to go off and have a nose. Or I'm going to go off and have a nose at them as well. Wherever I go, I like to get a piece of fabric from somewhere. So my bedroom's lovely. These are my William Morris cushions. Um, and I have a, let's show you. This is William Morris as well. I'm gonna do some washing later. And the other thing I want to show you, I'm on the ground floor, which I hate sleeping on the ground floor, but I'm such a good mum and daughter that my mother has the master ensuite gorgeous bedroom. My daughter has the luxury of the bedroom on the same floor my youngest daughter has the bedroom above me which is absolutely stunning because none of them like to sleep on the ground floor either so i am on the ground floor but i haven't got the views that they've got either but this can you see they're the boats how gorgeous are they so and it does mean that I get up first I can come down I'm not disturbing anybody when I sit but what I did want to show you was I bought away with me all of my handmade well not all of my handmade jewellery but just a nice selection because I like to wear my earrings and I was trying to find a way to store them so I decided to hang them all here and you can tell I like my faces earrings that I've got so I've got my blue versions which are the latest ones which will go up into my shop at a later date my original ones which are my green versions i've also got my red versions my stranger things earrings these aren't on the shop my purple leaf earrings now i've never done the purple ones on the shop um, and these will be released on the shop probably by the time you see this vlog actually or maybe the day after but these are my gorgeous daisy earrings um, and i absolutely love these earrings so yeah, then they're new to my uh, shop. Not that I wanted to plug my shop while I'm here, but I might as well, you know, share. So I think that's it from me this morning. Um, hopefully we'll go and find some fabulous fabric shops that I can uh, take a little bit of footage and share with you if I can. And uh, I'll catch you all tomorrow morning, I'm sure. <laughs>
it is now Thursday it's about six o'clock in the evening yesterday we got loads done hopefully you would have seen some footage of just a couple of bits from yesterday a couple of bits from today we ended up doing lots of charity shop shopping we started looking for fabric shops yesterday but didn't find any which was really frustrating because i really wanted to find some i found a curtain one um and then we were kind of running out of time on the tickets and stuff like that and it was just easier to sort of leave the fabric shopping didn't get any sewing done last night and this morning we ended up having a power outage so i didn't get an opportunity to sew this morning so unfortunately my zadie has not moved forward at all which is really irritating but it's you know zadie jumpsuit it's one of those things and i'm happy because i said that i wasn't going to put any pressure on myself for sewing whatsoever and i really haven't done that and i've enjoyed what i've been able to do and the idea of bringing my machine on holiday is that I can go and do it when I want to. It's there if I'm looking for something to entertain me for a little bit while everybody's settled and chilling. Um, and tonight we're going to all sit down and watch a movie because we're all quite tired. You know, it's been a lot that we've packed into three days, but it's been great. So from a clothes point of view with what I've brought with me, I wore my Zadie jumpsuit on um, Tuesday which um, I will pop a picture in here. And then yesterday I was all in ready to wear, but I was in this beautifully embroidered shirt um, that I think is originally from Zara, but everything that I buy, if I buy new clothes, they're always secondhand. So they're from charity shops. And um, so I will pop a picture of that outfit in there so you can see what I was wearing. I'd love an embroidery machine because I, would wear things like that all the time it's just beautiful today i've got a ready to wear jacket on ready to wear vest top but i have got my sd trousers on so these are the timmy and the buttons sd trousers i will pop in a picture here so you can see and i've got my beautiful strawberry earrings can you see them these are new in my shop I know I've talked about my shop a couple of times, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. It's so much fun making these cool jewelries. Um, I was really disappointed yesterday. I did not find... I did find a handmade jewellery shop. It was all silverware. Not, uh, not to my tastes. Um, and I didn't really see anything else, which I was gutted. I was looking for a ring in particular but it would have been nice to have found some really pretty earrings. My mother did find some gorgeous glass earrings that were handmade, um, but apart from that, yeah. So I think that's everything from me this week. I hope you've enjoyed this kind of content, um, just showing you how bringing sewing on holiday doesn't really need to be a big thing. It can just be something enjoyable that fits in around what you're doing. Um, let me know in the comments below if it's something that you guys do, um, would ever do, ever think of if you're holidaying locally and not abroad. I know it's obviously a bit more difficult to do it abroad. Um, and let me know what you think of this kind of content and whether you've enjoyed it or not. So have a fabulous weekend. I will be popping up a proper catch up on Sunday where hopefully I will have had a chance to finish my Zadie. Tomorrow morning we leave bright and early and it will be about a bit of travel. We were debating, or I was debating whether I'd get a chance to sew first thing tomorrow morning, but I think I'm going to pack everything up tonight so I haven't got a rush in the morning. So have a good weekend, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button if you want to see more, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye.